Yeah, thank you. Awesome. Okay, thank you for being here today. If you go to this screen on LinkedIn, you'd see a pull down, which if you drop down, you'd see some icons like this, which would invite you to tell your friends about LinkedIn so they can be signed up for LinkedIn. If you click any of these icons, say the Gmail icon, you'd be taken to a screen that looked like this, where if you logged in to Google, you'd be taken to another screen that looked like this. This would ask you for some information. So LinkedIn here is asking you for information about your Google account, so it can basically spam your friends and ask them to join link LinkedIn. What's really happening here is you own some resources. You have some contacts, which is your data, your resources. You've entrusted Gmail to host those resources for you. And then a third party, which has nothing to do with you or Gmail, needs access to those resources. You are the resource owner. The party that hosts the resources is the resource server. And a third party is a client. The party that needs access is the client. This is the official terminology that we'll be using throughout the rest of this session. Now, until about seven years ago, it was not possible to have this without you sharing your Google username and password with LinkedIn. But the arrangement that makes all of this happen is called OAuth. It's basically a set of rules that were agreed to by industry giants. They wrote a document, and they said this should happen, and that should happen to make this thing work. It's a set of rules which, if this resource server implemented, and the client or the third party application also implemented, then it would make all things work. Another example that you would see, the examples are ubiquitous now. This is another example of OAuth that you must have come across. If you go to Quora, you see these buttons, sign up with Google and Facebook. If you clicked on any one of these, say if you clicked on sign up with Facebook, you'd be taken to a screen that would ask you to log in if you're not logged in. And if you are, or after you've logged in successfully, you would see this screen, which again tells you that Quora is asking you for a bunch of stuff. Your name, your wife's name, this, that, the other, and permission to post on your behalf. And once you agree to this, anything you make as a post on Quora, whether you answer a question or you ask a question, will then show up on your Facebook timeline. And OAuth makes all of this possible. So OAuth is basically a, a way for you to share your resources from a resource server to a third party without revealing your username and password on the resource server to the third party. Authentication is about proving who you are to someone.